Oh, shalom, brothers and sisters. This is Wendem Yadin. Um, it's a little something I saw in the black nobility right here. It might not seem so obvious, so let's just back track a couple of pages right here. All right, so we're looking at some of these pictures, right? Here, you know, and here, and, you know, on Ethiopia, and on a related search, right? So as we're... You know, searching right here, the Ordinal People, and His Majesty, and Ethiopia today, and His Christian heritage from yesterday, and the changes that are going on in that region, right? So as we're going through the pics, you know, doing a search of pics, of course we come across the King of Kings here, some of the stamps, the currency, some books, uh, German book concerning his majesty, the Martin flag, and so forth and so on. Then we notice this this right here. Can we see this picture of his majesty? Right? Recognize where Ethiopia is at, the horn. Um, Queen of Sheba, King Solomon. Right? Um, the King of Kings, Kedemar, with Hamasalai. So then we notice this picture right here. Now, can we get close to that? It's kind of blurry right there. Right? And I said, okay, what is this about? So we here click here and we see Edward the Third, right? Now the page is uh, admittedly written in Spanish, right? But remember the whole Moorish link and the Mahara and the Ethiopian and the Hebrews and what went on with those black people and they were the Ishmaelites, right? The black Arabs or Moors, as well as the Amhara or the Ethiopian Hebrews, right? That were the original Jews and and Muslims, or the Black Moors, right, that were put in exile and sent back to Africa, and some even enslaved, right, when they were stripped of their orders, stripped of the knowledge of themselves. So we see this picture here, and it's kind of small here too, but we keep looking at the features and say something about this Edward III. Now notice the page behind here, and that's the order right there, the Malta, right, the Knights Malta, right, um, Okay, and then we have right here, and this noble altar of Jareteria, or Hareteria. So now as we're scrolling on this page, we can't really, I think this is either Portuguese or Spanish. I think it's Portuguese. So we can't really understand it, but we know that this is some royalty. This is some royal king. So what we did is go over here, or Rey Eduardo. Right, and then we clicked on the picture right here. Here we go, and we clicked on it. We got a larger image. Now, this is, this is indubitably a black man. I mean, you can see it from the beard, right? And this is a royalty, right? And it says Edward the Third of England. Edward the Third of England. So when we talk about black nobility in the Order of the Garter, right? The Order of the Garter. Right, and notice the connection in the pictures with His Majesty. So this is historical. They didn't have cameras to take pictures back then, but this was historical, right? So as we scroll down, we can see the coat of arms. You see that the blue and the red. Remember what we've been saying about the blue and the red, the significance of these colors, right? And this is a, a, a good and large pic here, and we're going to save this. But we said we're just going to do a clip of this and prove Edward III of England, you know, so when we talk about the black nobility and the Hebrews, right, the black Hebrews, the Israelites, and how that black nobility actually is that Ethiopian Hebrew, that royal bloodline, and the connection. Here's a historical picture that shows you very clearly. I hope you can see the colors. Let's let the colors. You can see the features. You can see the type of hair. You understand? It's not some straight hair, but it's that bushy. You understand? Bushy hair. Seems like it was maybe lightened up, but still when you see it from the proper angle, you can see the color. Right? So this is Edward the Third, Right? Black nobility. But we had to go to a Portuguese um, page and actually, actually to see the picture. You know, where it's just kind of hidden. You know, okay, no, we're on to this sort of study, many of us. So we're looking for these things, and it's a, it's an English and illuminated 
manuscript miniature, right, of Edward III of England, the king, is wearing a blue mantle decorated, right, with the Order of the Garter over his, his um, what is it, plate armor. Now, this is the British Library, right, but you can tell this picture right here is is obviously on this Portuguese website, right, and at a very good resolution here. I think that's the largest resolution that we can get. And once again, to see that picture clear and square, you can see the black nobility. This is actual proof, brothers and sisters. And you can see the complexion even even better right there. All right? So um, more to come, Edward, Eduardo, Edward III of England, one of the black kings, the black Hebrew Israelite kings. Know your ancestors, and then you'll recognize this fraud that's going on. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. So my brothers and sisters, shalom.